folks, welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. I'm Matt Lieberman. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Now, Pizza Hut yesterday released a brand new series of pizzas. Five new toppings, ten new types of crusts, new kinds of sauces, and drizzles. We talked mm. about it in this story right here that you can click on. So, since this is the most massive overhaul of any restaurant's menu in recent memory, especially a pizza place, we thought we'd try them out for ourselves and let you know what we thought. So we ordered eight pizzas. We're gonna try them out for you and give you our thoughts. Let's dig in. All right, so before we get started, we are going to go with an original uh, Pizza Hut cheese pie. We ordered this as like a control, right? We got all these new pizzas. We gotta yes. try the original. All right, right away I'm punched in the mouth with a little bit of sweetness. This is now called the Hut Favorite Crust. It's just a bit of a bit of butter and garlic and some mystery seasonings. Let's try the next pizza. Let's do it. So the first of the new pies we're trying out is the pretzel piggy. This is on the salted pretzel crust. It's got mushroom, spinach, bacon, and a balsamic glaze on top. So this already looks pretty fancy as hell. I mean, yeah. I feel like they've put some care into the drizzlings. Cheers. All right. This balsamic is like crazy thick. Like it's really sweet. It's thick. It's really thick. It overwhelms the entire taste. I don't even taste any of the Parmesan sauce. Do you? Oh, well, it ends up, the, the balsamic ended up in my mustache. So I'm gonna have a nice little bit of flavor later on this evening when I yeah. regret my earlier decision. Yeah, for me personally, I'm gonna give the pretzel piggy uh, a three and a half out of five. I can't taste that lower sauce. There's too much balsamic, but the pretzel crust is nice and the bacon is good. Well, I, I base my pizzas off of what am I gonna I have to alter when I order it because I'm a picky mm -hmm. eater. I'm not a peppersman, you know, I hate them. I don't eat tomatoes. Red onions, which you don't eat as mm -hmm. well. Mm -mm. I'm actually not much of a spicy guy. Is this how the salted piggy comes? This, this is, is how the salted piggy. Everything that comes on the salted piggy. Yes. So with that, I'm gonna give it an extra point. I'm giving this thing four out of five because I think it's delicious. I like the drizzlings, I like the bacon, I like the crust. Not so, I mean, I would've given it a five if the price was a little bit better, but yeah. you know, whatever, it's good. Good effort on you, Pizza Hut. The next pizza we're gonna talk about is the Cherry Pepper Bombshell. Now this has a lot of the much touted new stuff, brand new premium crushed tomato sauce, I'm very excited about that. Toasted Asiago crust, we got the balsamic again, we got the spinach again, premium salami and cherry peppers. Right off the bat, I'm hit with the pepperoni, and this is classic Pizza Hut pepperoni. Well, this is not pepperoni. This is the new premium salami. Really tastes just like their pepperoni. Between this one and the and the salted pig that we had before this, the pretzel the salt, piggy. The pretzel piggy. Yeah. I am less of a fan of this one, so I give this one like a two and a half. For me, I like this a little more than the pretzel piggy. Um, the toasted Asiago is. Well, you're like wrong. And the good news is, when we were ordering this, every time we ordered a pizza, they double checked that we wanted this crust, this sauce, this style of topping. So, you know, if you if you try these out, you may find that you can mix and match and do whatever you want with these pizzas. For me, I'm gonna give this pizza a four out of five. I like the Asiago, everything but the balsamic, but I'd get it on the side. So the next pizza we're talking about is the cockadoodle bacon. We got a Parmesan crust on this, we got the garlic Parmesan sauce, no drizzlings to get in the way of the flavor. We've got tomatoes, we got chicken, and we've got bacon. I mean, actually, it just, it kind of just tastes like a normal tastes slice like of pizza. Tastes like pizza? Here's the deal. As much as I like eating this pizza, for $14.99, it's nowhere near what it should no. be. So, for me, it's three out of five max. I'm gonna, I already know, and I had, I kind of had my, my score after my first bite. This is a two out of five. This is just your normal pizza pie, nothing special about it. Mm -hmm. Slap it down on a plate. No one's gonna be smiling ear to ear after they take yeah. a bite of this. They're just gonna be like, oh, pizza. Ugh. <laughs> No one wants to burp like I do. The next pizza that we're gonna be talking about is the Giddy Up Barbecue Chicken. Yeah! We got the toasted cheddar crust, which we haven't had yet. We've got their new barbecue sauce, uh, a little reformulated underneath the cheese. We got bacon, we got chicken, red onions. Mmm. Hmm. Hmm. This hmm. one reminds me of my dad a lot. What, like cookouts in the backyard? No, he'd hit me with his belt and I'd get that like mystique smell in my nose. I think it was like a... Mesquite smell? Something sensors? like that. Yeah. 
I'm gonna give this pizza uh, a four out of five. Mm -hmm. I think it's delicious. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it needs, but it's definitely different than what I'm used to at pizza. And I think they hit a home run with this one. Yeah, I feel like it's exactly what it needs to be. It definitely feels a little more like a premium pie. The red onions really help. Um, the bacon is really, really plentiful. Um, and I like the cheddar crust. I maybe would have gone Asiago instead. I think I'll also give this a four out of five. I, I think that. The, I think it's pretty. Oh, here, baby. Thank you. Okay, I didn't go that far, but. All right, Steve. I feel like this is gonna be a very divisive one. What we got here is the sweet sriracha dynamite. Now, this is a sriracha overload. They've got a honey sriracha sauce they've developed themselves. It is the sauce underneath the cheese. It is on the crust. It is also a drizzling. So, you have to love sriracha to order this pizza. Uh, it's got chicken, it's got jalapenos, it's got cherry peppers, and it's got pineapple. I mean, you can smell the spiciness from here. It right? It hits you right it in the face. It hits you right in the face. Yeah. Why is the crust sticky? What's because happening? Because it's the honey sriracha sauce. It's okay. also on the crust. All right. It was definitely spicy. Like right off the bat, it's like, woohoo! Um, I kind of love this. I'm not gonna, you know, bring it down a score just because it's a hot pizza, because I know a lot of you like really spicy stuff. So, for me personally, I give it like a two out of five. For me personally, I love the flavors on this. I just wish that the cri the crust was a little crispier, and maybe yeah. if I ordered it well done, it would be even better. Yeah, because you don't want you don't want to you don't want the honey to be like on this doughy, like you want a crisp. Exactly, you want a crunch there's, in no there. there's no, no crunch in this crust. So no. it would have been a five for me. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. Cool. The last of the normal pies that we are trying today is the Buffalo State of Mind. Now this has a cheddar crust. It's got buffalo sauce underneath the cheese and a buffalo drizzling. We got grilled chicken. We got red onions and banana peppers, one of the new toppings. This said. basically looks like a cartoon pizza. It's very colorful. Very colorful. The presentation is nice. Again, and you're gonna put this out on your party tray, and it's gonna, gonna be like that's some good. fancy pizza. Yeah, you got. this person definitely spent $14.99 plus a delivery charge, plus tax, plus paying for the driver. At least. Mm. This is this didn't kick me in the mouth like the sriracha one did. Yeah, I like the tang. I like the spice. I like the the combination of chicken. Of course, you're getting a more complete package here with all the other fixins and mm -hmm. stuff, but I'm, I'm digging this one. Three out of five. See, for me though, it's supposed to be a buffalo pizza, and to me, this doesn't taste like buffalo sauce. Yeah, it's like a, it's it's like not as hot as buffalo. It's just sauce. hot sauce, and buffalo sauce is you know is a nice hot sauce plus some butter, and um, to me, this is just kind of like a, a watered down hot sauce. It's just mostly vinegar, so I'm a little disappointed. I'm actually gonna give this a two and a half out of out of five. I, I'm, wow, man! You I'm, need to lay down. Yeah, I'm real. I'm real bummed out. You need to clear your head. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a. I'm gonna do, take a walk. You know, splash a little water in your face. I've seen him this mad before. He gets real fucking scary. Woo, I'm gonna puke, huh? Yeah. Projectile style. Well, good news, Steve. The next pie isn't quite as filling. Now, one of the other things that Pizza Hut is doing that's a big deal is they're launching a new line of skinny pizzas. It's a new kind of crust. It's very, very thin, and the way that they intend to balance the toppings means that every slice is supposed to be under 250 calories. Okay, So all right. this either could be really good or really bad. We're about to find out. This is the Skinny Italy. And looking at it right away, this looks dry as fuck. Yeah, it just looks like there's no grease at all. Yeah, now this is supposed to have spinach on it. I don't see any spinach. This is supposed to be classic tomato sauce, meatballs, mushrooms, red onions, tomatoes, and spinach. And it just basically looks like someone took Tostitos chips and put cheese and dropped meatballs on them. And they barely even look like meatballs. They look like little dried out falafel turds. They look like real sad rabbit turds. It's like a little cracker. It's a lot like the Domino's thin crust. Ooh, it hurts my finger to flick it. Um, this is pretty foul. I mean, it's got a, it's got a crunch, which the other pizzas didn't. Some have. of them didn't. Yeah, it's real bad. I grew up on the East Coast. Thin crust pizza was the only kind of pizza you could find. Everything was nice and thin. It had a crackle to it. It had a chew to it. This is just a cracker with dried up stuff on it. Guys, I'm gonna give this pizza a one out of five. I'm not gonna be buying this anytime soon. No. I'm gonna make some good jokes about it. 
after the show. I'm gonna go take the rest of this pizza, I'm gonna throw it like a Frisbee across the entire parking lot, and then I'm gonna light it on fire. I'm gonna go take my aggressions out on an animal, not a dog, because I like dogs. Yeah, maybe like one of them gerbil fuckers. So, yeah, I'm also gonna give this a one out of five. It's a disappointment. Get it out of my face. So, that wraps up all of our reviews of the new Pizza Hut pizzas. Steve, which was your favorite, which was your least favorite? I gotta say, man, that Salty Piggy was probably my favorite. The it Pretzel had, Piggy? Yeah, it was like a little different, you know, you got that pretzel bun with the salt on it, you got the, the drizzling. I think I'm a fan of the drizzling. At first I was like, this, these drizzlings are a little overpowering, they're mm -hmm. a little too thick, it's a little gross. But then as we went further down the line with the other pizzas you started to miss that the drizzling. didn't have drizzlings, I was like, where's my drizzlings? Yeah, okay, I get it. It definitely makes the pizza feel a little more worth your money. It makes it feel a little, a little pricier. I just think the balsamic was a little too thick. For me, that sweet sriracha dynamite just knocked it out of the park. I loved that pizza. If I could get it a little crispier, I would definitely order that again. Definitely though, least favorite pizza of the day, that's Skinny Italy, man. What a waste. Yeah, the Skinny is actually what I would call a perversion in the world of pizza. Yeah. I think that it needs to be uh, burned Wiped at the stake. Out. Mm -hmm. I think you need to hang it. Yeah. Ring it out mm -hmm. and dump it. Yeah, seriously though, if I saw Skinny Italy at the, at the mall, I don't even care if Skinny Italy was with his parents, I would beat the shit out of Skinny Ooh, Italy. Ooh, Skinny, Skinny Italy is not getting a Christmas card from me this year. Mm -mm. That's for God now, I'm sure. So folks, what do you think about the new Pizza Hut pizzas? Have you tried them? Are you going to? Let us know down in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe, and share. I'm Matt Lieberman. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Yeah. Let's go make each other puke real quick. Okay, real quick. And then we can finish the rest of the pizza. Salt the pig.